Wow. So apparently the Nigerian military will host Prince Harry and Meghan Markle next month in May, right after they attend the Invictus Games service in London. Think about that, right? <laughs> Think about that. It's always the unexpected. You didn't expect that, did you? I didn't expect that, no. Why? I don't know. I just didn't expect it. I mean, they're full of surprises. It says here, the defense headquarters of Nigeria has said all is set for officers and soldiers to host Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle. Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry is respected among world militaries while launching the Invictus Games, a sports event for military personnel wounded in action in 2014. Oh, wow. That's impressive. Um, it says here, Duke of Sussex, um, Prince Harry, no, I read that already. The game first took place in London in 2014. Invictus is Latin for unconquered, chosen as an embodiment of the fighting spirit of the wounded, injured, and sick service personnel and what they can achieve post-injury. The sport has helped to inspire recovery, support, re support rehabilitation, and generate a wider understanding and respect for those who serve their country in the military. Mm. Wow. It says here, the DHQ said they are honored and delighted for the acceptance of the Duke and Duchess, His Royal Highness Prince Harry, and his wife, the, du the Duchess of Sussex, Megan, to visit Nigeria. So it sounds like it, they were invited. They, they didn't invite themselves. They were actually invited. Wow. During their stay in the country, they will be meeting with service members and will be hosted to arrays of cultural activities. Wow. So it's almost like a, a, a royal... Um, assignment. I mean, you know how when the royal family would go off to the Commonwealth countries and visit the Commonwealth. Is Nigeria part of the Commonwealth? I don't even know at this point, but I wouldn't be surprised. And how they would be received officially by the government and the people would dance and prance and carry on and there would be all this stuff. It sounds like the very same thing, except Harry and Meghan are supposed to be no longer working royals. So you have to wonder... Did the did the, the 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 royal family, Prince Charles, I mean King Charles, have anything to do with it at all? However small, was this totally um, what is the word in English? You know, was this something that was just um, an imp not an impulse, but it was close to an impulse? What is the word I'm looking for? If you can figure it out, let me know in the comments. But you know, something that was spontaneous, spontaneous. So was it just spontaneous? that the Nigerians invited them? Was this something that was discussed at the last Invictus Games in Germany? Um, was this hinted that, did Harry hint that he wanted to, to do this in Nigeria? I mean, it's pretty freaking a big deal, I think, right? Um, so it says here, the Honorable Minister of Defense, however, I don't know how, Abu, Abu Bakar Badu, no, Badahu, Al Jahi Mohammed Abu Baka Badaru, who was in Germany last year at last year's um, event, has accepted to host the games when granted to Nigeria. Oh, wow. You notice how they say that, right? <laughs> Almost like a Brett. <laughs> they speak in tongues. They speak in tongues. You have to decipher what they're saying here. Has accepted to host the games when granted to Nigeria. I mean, the, the games have not been granted to Nigeria, but he's already accepted, right? Very clever. Anyway, um, I think it's a bidding process anyway. But that said, good for Harry and Meghan. It's, it sounds very impressive. I hope they just have the security issues well ironed out, right? Um, and that's it. I mean, you know, and just represent, just represent, you know, just represent, um, you know, Invictus and Archwell and all their supporters around the world, you know. And I think the Nigerians are going to be very excited 
to have Harry and Meghan visit. It's going to be almost like a king and queen visiting, I think. It's going to be epic. Wow. Do they have a specific date on this? They didn't say. They didn't say the specific date. Um, but, whoa, tomorrow I can only imagine what's going to be said on these morning shows in, in UK. <laughs> You're killing us, you guys. <laughs> it's a lot. 